crews were making sure chainsaws were tuned up and ready to go for tonight's high winds. Big trees and branches still haven't been totally cleaned up from the October storm that knocked out power on the Cape and South Shore for days this fall. On the heels of the high wind storm that we're expecting tonight, there's going to be some extreme cold tomorrow, so we want to make sure that we have enough crews that can get out there and restore power if it does go out to anybody so that they're not in the cold in those really cold temperatures. Yeah, I should be a smarter man and invest in a generator, but like I said, I'll start the fire just in case. Greg Buckley from Dennis was gassing up just in case before the storm, while others have lived through Cape storms and already prepared with generators just in case the lights go out tonight. We have a generator and, you know, we're a strong advocate for that too because, you know, we do get a lot of unusual weather here and you have to be prepared for that. If we lose power for a couple of days, you know, you could see a situation where a house that doesn't have a generator, heat's not maintained, they're going to have significant freeze-ups or potential for freeze-ups and that's where the biggest problems are right now. Back live, as we said, those crews from Canada, Michigan and New Jersey have started to arrive here in these staging areas. Now, people who live on the Cape year round are not phased by the high winds, but it is the freezing temperatures that will drop tonight, potentially leading to frozen pipes that have many people concerned, but also many people have purchased generators in their homes on the Cape over the past decade. Reporting live in Barnstable, I'm Ted Wayman, WCVB News Center 5.